hello everyone uh, I'm gonna answer some questions again this morning um, I got my new true blood t-shirt it's not awesome oh my god that's such a hot topics ho thing gotta show you this all but I'm gonna answer some goth questions look at the new converse you guys know I got every pair of converse and their leather it just came out very cool black leather yeah I just got back from my little mini vacations I always take on my hand. I have my three days off. I had a great time and um, been getting a lot of questions and I've not been answering them because I've been so busy. You guys know that. I work a lot of hours and with mom and family and all the craziness and fun and oh, social life and all that friends and stuff. You know, you don't have a ton of time. I make quick videos sometimes, very fast ones. And sometimes, if I have the time, like this morning, I have some time. <clears throat> my voice, oh my god, I got, my voice is scratchy. Anyway, I'm going to try to answer some questions. Um, I've been getting a lot of goth questions, so we're going to make this How to Be a Goth Part 3. Um, okay, I've been asked, is goth a phase? I think for some people it's a phase, but if your whole life is based... You know, what's going on right now in the media with, you know, Twilight and True Blood, which I love. True Blood I really like. Um, all the, twi you know, Twilight movies, like I say, there's a lot of people that all of a sudden are wannabe goths. I mean, that's not really a true goth. I mean, that's just that you're interested in a movie or a fad, trying to be cool. Um, I think that goths have been picked on and been misjudged so much and um, misunderstood uh, because most goths, because of all the bad press you know that goths have gotten um, they make a big deal if there's some killing or something that it was a goth or whatever uh, most goths and I will say like I said before are into poetry they are into art you know just like me, most of my life, you know, I, I love to write poetry. I mean, I, you know, it's things I don't share with people, you know. I keep a journal, you know. I mean, goths are very sensitive people. And, you know, when you open your YouTube page and you get some stupid fool out there that's calling you dirty names, you know, it doesn't bother me because you put up a shield, you know, to where you're used to people calling you names and judging you and if you don't like it don't watch my channel don't if you don't like me or you don't like who I am turn it don't look at it go to something else you know be a norm be what you are and I have a lot of norms that watch my channel you know too when I love all you guys I'm not you know I I hang out with lots of different people you know normal people goths you know whatever it's just uh you know, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to try to answer these questions real quick. I got off the subject of people, you know, picking on goths, which I think is sucks. Anyway, number two. What did my mom and dad think about being goth? Well, I hid it for a while. I always had skulls, like, hanging in my closet. And my mom wouldn't put my clothes away because she said they freaked her out, you know, and she couldn't, didn't understand. She accepts me. Um, she doesn't really particularly like like my coffin collection and stuff and things like that you know it's just like kind of you know you know how moms are you know she just mom you know what I mean she just doesn't like that kind of stuff really but you know she doesn't say anything once in a while she'll call me Elvira which I think is a compliment because I think she's beautiful or Betty Page or something like that which I love Betty Page you guys know that um, let's see. I'm going to try to answer your questions. One girl wanted to do a report, you know, so I thought I'm trying to, I think there's crystal something, but hello, that was very nice of you. Um, let's see. What are some of my favorite bands? Well, Typo Negative was my number one favorite band and still is, even though Peter still uh, passed away. I, I love that band. The band, she's, I mean, I listen to uh, Adam Ants. I mean, I listen to all kinds of stuff. I mean, some of the uh, all new stuff I, I'm not into. Even though I went and seen some, uh, you know, concerts, you know, with some friends and stuff, it was fun seeing them like Nickelback. It was okay. It's not particularly my style of music, but, and I love Rob Zombie. Um, 
Have you even seen Kiss? Which was really good. I mean, they were the actually Kiss. You know, started a lot of the gothic stuff, and it was like the older bands too, though. But you know, that was like a big blast. You know, I think out there that that Kiss, because they were so, the media put them out there. That's why you know Kiss was like more than just like the Banshees and Sisters of Mercy and stuff like that. Because there's a lot of people who don't still know who they are. I've asked a friend the other day. She says, "Who are the Sisters of Mercy?" So she listened to them. And she really got into it. Okay. Off the subject, you know me. I'm I'm on the subject of music. I can never shut up. Um, what my bands uh, in the questions were asked. I have tons and tons of bands. I could I could tell you I love even some local bands that are aren't famous or anything. I love that are goth. Okay, let's see. What do I find in different in people than the norms that you asked me? What do I find different? Well. The thing of it is, my whole house is decorated goth, and I don't care if you come into my home, if you judge me. I don't care what you think. I, Because I love it. It makes me feel comfortable. I, I feel uncomfortable going into a norm place because I call this my gothic dungeon. Um, That's just the way I live. And if I'm weird, I'm weird. So what? I'm just being myself. I'm not trying to be anybody else. You know, it's my home. I can do what I want with it. Painted my hall red. I think it's really cool. Um. Anyway, back to the questions. See, there I had. So, I've had so many on my how to be a goth. Um, you know, hot topic goths. What do I think of the posers? You know, I think you know it's stupid. If you aren't really, don't go out and get a tattoo if you really don't want it. Because I have lots of tattoos and I love them all. My tattoos. Um, no, if you get something that you really like, that you're, if you're like, it's a phase. If you if you think you want to be a goth, and then next week you want to be an emo or you want to be a norm, you're not taking that tattoo off for less than five thousand dollars. So you better make sure that's what you want. Um, I'm just out there, you know, saying this. You know, have has anyone ever been picked on too? That's another thing. You know, have you ever been picked? Yes, of course we've all been picked on. People, people treat you differently. You know, I had on a black jacket, you know, when I was out eating with the Grand Pops the other day in a really nice restaurant. I took it off. People seen all my tattoos. They're like, wow, those are cool. There's a lot of people that like them and a lot of people that don't. But who? I don't give a shit what people think. I mean, I'm really, just be yourself. And that's what I, I say to people who want to be goth. You know, be yourself. Start listening to gothic music, real goth music. Um, get some cool, you know, you say, you. How, a lot of people ask me, well, how do I be a goth? Well, at first it starts with the music and get a lot of band t-shirts and, I mean, a lot of my clothes are, uh, and, you know, are all, like I said, my wardrobe is all black and I just love, you know, different types of shoes. I, I do have the combat boots that I do wear occasionally and I get away with wearing some of them at work once in a while under my scrubs because you can't get, it's like I have on just a black shoe. Anyway, back to the other question. I think there was, oh, there's so many. I'm trying to remember them off the top of my head. Uh, my favorite stores, of course, I love Hot Topics, but I do order online a lot through the Gothic Net, uh, you know, um, clothes and jewelry and stuff. Because I like, I don't want this, you know, the same things of every, you know, that everyone else has. You know, I like to be different. And um, like I say, you, you out there, has, you know, what did my mom and dad think, and what my family think? My dad's gone, my mom's still here, and like I said, the whole issue of being goth is be true to yourself, be who you are, love yourself, and you know, if people don't like you, and they call you names, who gives a shit? They're probably just jealous of you, and they're probably not happy, because there's only one reason they're going to call you names. They're ignorant, illiterate. Always remember that goths are much smarter. We're more sensitive people and we read all the time. Anyway, love you guys. Have a beautiful day.